Hi there. This is Mark Edelman, speech-language pathologist, and welcome to the teaching of talking. Today, I'd like to address a subject that I'm very passionate about, and I hope you are too. Um, it's about tools. <laughs> tools. And uh, of course, we're talking about uh, tools for aphasia, but before we even address that, um, we've realized mankind has uh, searched for years for ways to make his or her work more productive. And so going way back to the caveman time, they decided that they were going to develop a wheel. And um, they attached a wheel to a, a, a platform and they found that they could move products and move large stones and other types of uh, materials from point A to point B much, much faster. And they didn't need all the labor. And uh, they just found this to be a wonderful invention, the wheel. And so if we look at our own lives, we know that our lives revolve around wheels too. Uh, you have a car and the car has wheels and you can get in that car and you can transport yourself just about anywhere. Well, so where am I going with all of this? Well, tools are developed to make improvements in mankind. And the teaching of talking method is a tool uh, that was developed by a speech language pathologist with 46 years of experience to help people find an efficient way to help improve talking with people with aphasia or with children who are not talking. And so it's a method of basically teaching talking. And uh, the problem has been that there haven't really been a whole lot of methods available that truly work. And so it was the same thing with the cavemen and early men. They would, they would have to lug these great big rocks around and there would be people who would die because the rocks would, <laughs> would roll backwards over them. And they just didn't have a very efficient way to move, move products. Well, it's the same thing with aphasia. There haven't really been efficient ways to help people talk. In fact, they've been very inefficient. In fact, many people believe, or had believed, that going to a speech therapy, or a th speech therapist, twice a week was going to improve speaking with those with profound problems. And I think people are finally realizing that magic doesn't occur but behind the therapy door. That speech and language develop with intensive stimulation. And what I mean by intensive stimulation is people with aphasia or children who are not talking, they, they require everyday stimulation. They require somebody who knows what they're doing to engage with them and help them say words. And once they're able to say words, then to help them expand the single words to two words or more. And, you know, I, I hope I don't sound like a broken record, but, you know, I keep reading all over, uh, all over, all over the world. I keep reading about stories about people with aphasia and the byline is that they can't talk 
the byline is that they're smart, but they just can't talk. Well, that's because often the methods that have been used with famous people, with aphasia even, the methods that have been used have been inefficient. And when you have inefficiency, you don't have success. And the teaching of talking is like the development of the wheel for mankind. It was developed to help therapists, to help caregivers, help those with aphasia, or help children with various speech and language delay develop the ability to talk. This is Mark Edelman, speech language pathologist. Tools help us. Tools get us from place to place. Tools help us accomplish things faster and better. So if you'd like to learn more about the tool to help people talk for aphasia, come visit us at teachingoftalking.com. And there you will find a link if you want to contact me for an email and talk to me about any concerns that you have. Uh, we'd be happy to communicate with you. And there you can also get on our mailing list so that you can receive regular emails uh, that will help you understand about aphasia. You know something? One final thing I, I have to tell you, and that is that a lot of times learning to use a tool may seem difficult at first. Now, when you first learned how to drive a car, you uh, uh, maybe had a hard time doing that, okay? But in time, in a very short period of time, you've been able to get in the car, run down to the grocery store, or go on vacation, or just do about just about anything. And, and, and driving uh, from place to place has become very easy and very simple. So you can learn a tool to help your loved one speak that may seem a little bit challenging in the beginning, but once you get the hang of it, it's automatic. This is Mark Edelman, speech pathologist. Thank you for stopping by, and we'll see you next time. Don't forget to click underneath the video if you'd like to receive some information or if you'd like to visit us at theteachingoftalking.com or if you'd like to contact me and have a conversation about your concerns for a loved one or a, or a client with aphasia. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.